Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to talk about Laravel Breeze. And Laravel Breeze is one of the uh, starter kits that Laravel provides alongside Jetstream and also L Laravel UI which can be able to do for us this uh, authentication scaffolding. So let us go ahead and look at how we can be able to use this uh, kit. And in this case I would like us to install a fresh installation of Laravel so we can have composer create project Laravel Laravel and then maybe we can call this application breeze as it installs I would like to just pause for a while our application has finished installing. Let us open it in uh, Visual Studio Code. I would like to go ahead and uh, open Terminal such that we can be able to install uh, Laravel Breeze. And we are going to use the uh, Composer to install it. So Composer require Laravel Breeze and we can uh, tag the dev after that we are going to run the command breeze php artisan breeze install And this command is going to be able to generate for us a lot of uh, scaffolding for the views to routes to controllers and so on and so forth so let us just go ahead and do it and in this case i would like us to use it in blade so in this case i'm going to choose zero it's asking if i would like dark support in uh, in the installation we can say yes it's also asking if we prefer to use paste instead of php unit for testing we can also say yes for that because we will not even uh reach there so after that it's uh installing the necessary requirements and i uh, will just pause a bit then resume once everything is done i do not need to run npm install and uh npm run dev because as you can see already it is installing on its own and this is laravel 10 so pre pre probably if you're dealing with laravel 9 or laravel 8 maybe you can be able to uh, run those commands we can see what we're having is that the breeze scaffolding installed successfully and i would like us to just open and see what has happened so i want us to go to resources when we open resources views you can see there is a folder that has been added here which is called Oath and we also have components and we have layouts. We also have profile and dashboard.blade.php. So all these have been added by uh, the commands that you have just run. Add us to also go to routes uh, web.php. In this case we can also find that uh, there are some more uh, things that have been created obviously we usually have this one route uh, that ships with laravel but then after that you can see we have uh, the route get dashboard and then the route group profile and then we also have uh, require the directory auth.php this one here so those are the additions that we have here and then after that i would like us to also check something on um controllers so up http controllers also we have been able to by just running those commands you've been able to create a profile controller so this one comes with breeze and then also i would like us also to go to controllers oath folder and then inside this oath folder you can also see we have many things here authenticated confirm password email verification new password and so on and so forth 
up until down there so all those are the things that are there and then of course for the views we said we have um, the auth folder which contains so many things and then we also have the components folder which contains also very many things there now i want us to just go ahead and uh, do our migrations in uh, by default the database that is set here is called laravel and i also have a database called laravel in my uh, machine so i can be able to just do the migrations by saying php and of course you should ensure that um, if you are you are working on a windows like me and you're using zamp you ensure that uh, zamp mysql and apache is running so we can say php artisan uh, migrate fresh to drop all the tables and install them again and you can see that one is done so the next thing that i want us to do is to run this application php artisan serve and as it runs we can be able to run our laravel application so let me just uh, uh, open chrome So here we are going to visit localhost 8000. As you can see, we have our Laravel application. And then above here, we have login and register, which were not there in the initial installation of Laravel alone. They have been installed with the installation of Breeze. And since we do not have a user in this uh, um, database, maybe we can be able to go and register. So we click on register. I will put my name here, William. Juma and an email I'll just select any email here and then the password again I will confirm the password like that and then register and as you can see directly we are sent to dashboard so here we, it's saying that we are logged in and then just one more thing that is uh, different from Laravel UI because if you use Laravel UI you do not get this uh, profile here when you click the drop down here on, on the name you have profile and logout so when you click on profile you can see that it's opening another page whereby we can be able to do changes on the details that we have so in this case this is the name that we set this is the email so if you want to change the name or you want to change the email you can do that here and then obviously you can also go ahead and change the password uh, just put the current password the new password and confirm password on top of that you can also decide to maybe do away with your account by deleting it so basically that is uh, all i wanted to talk about in the in this uh tutorial i would like to thank you for taking the time to follow this tutorial up until this time i ask that you may subscribe comment share this video if you find it useful and you can leave a thumbs up thank you very much